Well, I, th I felt I had to offer an alternative history to the existing one in the Peter Hall diaries. Uh, but that really wasn't my motivation. My motivation was that I was in uh, possession of an extraordinarily lively story. Uh, and, a sto and I felt I could write something which would be genuinely informative about the political nature of theatre and about what happens behind the production of plays and particularly what happens in a big organisation when there are certain struggles for power and dominance uh, and artistic domination. Uh, so it was really to tell the tale, but in telling the tale I hoped to set the record straight. But that wasn't really, I suppose, my main interest. I also very much wanted to celebrate my years with Olivier, both, you know, the arguments and differences we had, but also to celebrate his talent, which I hope I did in my account of Long Day's Journey Into Night, and also the relationship I had with him. And it was a particularly exciting time in the British theatre. Uh, the, the, the late 50s, the 60s, and the early 70s. I mean, it was British theatre occupied uh, a place in the public imagination, rather like Brit art did at the beginning of the century. The century. Uh, it was something that people were really seriously interested in. And these huge institutions were coming into being, like the, um, like the National Theatre. And it was a lovely time to be part of it, great time to be part of it.